Well, hello and welcome to Wings of Glory, my friends. One of the first, maybe only, World War I flight strategy game I'm aware of. This allows you to go back to the time of the famous Red Baron, uh, Baron von Richthofen, and, of course, do some World War I air fighting, or dog fights. Um, you can actually play as the Baron himself. Now, there is an online component to this game. In fact, you even have to, like, sign up on the website. As you can see, I'm logged in here as Agrippa Maxent. Um, when I jump into the online play section, um, there don't seem to be any passwords here, or any uh, games here, excuse me, but I regularly see people here, and this is currently 107 right now, um, asking for people to start games. So I suspect that's actually going pretty well, um, and that it's fairly easy to get an online game going. As for the local play, and that's what we're going to take a look at today, um, you've got solo play or challenges. If we go into the challenges, um, basically, uh, you know, you can try and earn a fighter wing ace uh, medal, I believe. Um, any number of different things you can really do here, but it really is mostly this solo play. So we've got dogfights, bombing runs, we've got bullets in the mud, a terrible clash ensues over an entrenched position on the front with each team vying to destroy the enemy's ground units, and of course, a recon mission. Now, these are all very different game modes, actually. So, of course, you are still going to get the very standard map or top-down view, uh, but there's going to be differences in each game mode. Today, we're going to take a look at dogfights. And over here, as you can see, you can unlock uh, player counts for airplanes. Unfortunately, and I see this as a huge negative, you can only have three planes per team. That's pretty much it. Um, AI difficulty normal, that's fine, and we've got explosions off. Now, one thing I really like, over here, our planes are already selected for us. We can simply get rid of them to add new airplanes, but something I find extremely cool. Um, so let's say I take the Airco here. I can actually select an ace for my plane, and these are all real aces from history. Now, of course, these are the allied aces, um, but as you can probably imagine, we've also got some German aces here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take Luftberry add that airplane to the team and over here for this side it looks like baron von richthofen is already there believe it or not yep that is the baron himself manfred von richthofen and you can also see the different skills that he gets of course richthofen has more skills than any other pilot he is the best of the game being said let's jump in and get some combat going so I think this intro is awesome. This is actually the intro to each battle. It kind of shows off the lead plane um, from each side. And I just think it's a nice touch, but it doesn't really follow through much, so it pretty much stops there. Now, when you shoot an enemy plane down, you also get a slight animation, but I really think they could do a much better job. As you can imagine here, you are selecting three moves, so of course you are anticipating the enemy's moves, and right now we're just continuing forward here. I'm not doing anything crazy, just continue forward and stay on the path. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different with Alexander Little's plane, and basically I'll have this one go right, have this one go left, and continue towards the enemy. Let's hope this allows us to get some shots, um, but as you can see, they're going to continue that flight pattern. And it looks like first the enemy got a hit on us. We actually took some engine damage, I believe, or right rudder damage. That's going to make turning quite complicated. Now, it looks like I've got a shot, and I'd actually tr like to trail into this plane because he's coming towards us. And we're going to use our perfect aim ability to deal plus one damage. Over here, um, try to go for this Fokker plane. And pretty standard, I mean, especially in biplane combat. We've hit them, but we haven't actually done any major damage. It depends on any number of factors. So over here, we do get to choose a target. Let's fire. And I didn't realize, but we actually have a rear gunner on that plane. That might be why the Airco is the most expensive plane currently available. But there we go. They already took out one of our boys. That was quick. Um, and we took out one of theirs, too. So one for one. Now what I'm going to try to do is, of course, turn around, but with that right rudder damage, guys, believe it or not, um, it's going to be pretty tough to turn around effectively. Do the same thing over here. And again, just a full turn is essentially what we're going for here. We should be able to get a pretty good shot. I'll get the plus one aim. And sure enough, we damage it a bit. 
return fire there. And once again, we knocked one of their planes out. He couldn't take the damage there. That fire really starting to get to him. And now we're just dealing with this one plane over here, the Fokker DR-1. I'm going to try to go for a little bit of a strange approach here. Um, I just kind of want to toy with the enemy and see what he does. The issue that is going to happen here, and you guys will see it very soon, is if we go off the map, um, that's considered essentially you're off the board. Um, that pilot has returned to base, and uh, you can lose the game simply because you decided to be a bit too cocky with these pilots over here. Now, I'm going to try to turn right, but over here, if you look at that, that's going left. So actually, we should be going left, but I'm not entirely sure this is going to work the way I expected to. Uh, let's see. Here we go, turning left. Oh, actually going to get a side shot on our plane, but it looks like that worked out fairly well. It's kind of what I wanted to happen. And sure enough, we actually injured the pilot. That's going to be Baron von Richthofen. And of course, being injured, he's not going to be flying um, as steady as he was before. And with this guy, I'm just going to kind of approach this way. Um, let's see, I'm going to turn left, left, and left. Just pretty much one large circle. Because I think we can use those rear guns to get a hit. And sure enough, look at that. And there we go. That's going to be a GG for our side. Um, and this is sort of how the game goes, at least for the dogfight section. Now, obviously, if you're playing multiplayer, you're going to be getting an even cooler um, sort of battle there. Um, as you can see, we came out with two planes. We eliminated three enemies, so we get six points for that. And for all the planes you lose, you, of course, will lose, um, you know, prestige or points. Um, this score can be seen by online players, etc. Um, so I really like it. And just to show you guys, if I go into local play, uh, let me show you one of the other game types here. So over here, guys, we're just going to go with our same setup just to uh, kind of show you what to expect. But again, my biggest complaint with this game, um, number well, the number two complaint would be they don't use these animations enough. These animations look great, and they could be using it for so many different elements of the game. Um, this top-down view, I've seen it before. Uh, it's reminiscent of like a Newgrounds game. It really is. And I'm a strategy gamer. I am not... Um, I'm not shallow when it comes to a game's aesthetic. Like, I can accept something that doesn't look very good, but has good gameplay. These guys already have the nice visuals. They should just really incorporate that completely into the game. Um, but besides that, um, my biggest complaint with the game is that whole three-plane limit. Um, that just doesn't make any sense. Um, if you just have, like, three planes every time, uh, obviously each subsequent mission feels very much the same. However, the difference here, as you can see, we do have two trenches on either side. These helmets represent trenches, and actually in World War I, you could get pretty effective anti-aircraft fire just from rifles, especially if that um, plane is close. In fact, I believe I, I believe that's how Baron von Richthofen died, was um, as he was going coming into land, um, a unit or a soldier in a trench fired up a rifle at him and pierced him, killing him, of course. Um, but if we look over here, this team has to bring that plane with the bombs over that position, drop it, and of course, then they get a mission successful. But only if they do that. If they don't manage to do that, well, of course, they are completely out of luck. Another thing I really do enjoy about the game is just the customization and the ability to really look at these old planes. Um, if we go over here, you can even actually um, select a new pilot for the plane. Uh, there's any number of things you can kind of affect. So if we look over here, these are the starting hit points of a game. Um, of course, the damage decks. If you want to play a friend and be a real pain in the you-know-what, you can go ahead and maybe increase that a bit um, and make sure that your plane has more hit points than your friend. Of course, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that, but that just kind of gives you an idea of the different kind of things you can do. Again, another complaint of mine, there's not much of a selection. I mean, we've got four planes for the Central Powers, and we've got four planes for the Allies. Um, over time, I feel like they're going to have to add more planes, or even 
kind of let us know that that's going to be a plan for the future. The interesting thing about the Wings of Glory game is this is actually based off a board game, which I wasn't even aware of until I really started researching it. And in the board game, you can go all the way from the start of the Age of Flight, World War I, to modern day. So you can even have modern day battles. Of course, they've got different rule sets. But I believe with this game, they are going specifically for that World War One aesthetic and that World War One feel. And again, I think that's a great place to have a game. I think it's an awesome idea, but there's got to be more content here um, in my, from my perspective. It's really bare bones, a um, lot of potential, but just scratching the surface. Anyway, I hope you guys think I was being fair. I hope you'll take a look at this game. And as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much, folks, and have a great day.